my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know about the thumbnail this video is going to be on this little baby right here so if you're interested then just keep watching all right so this is like a mini rant kind of i'm not even sure how many looks i'm going to do at this moment because i'm about to start <laughs> but you already know because i have it listed in the title but i'm calling this a rant because of the condition that my palette made it in and initially when i saw it i was hot very hot as you all know this is what the palette looks like it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye to me and when you open it up you do get a mirror and you get the little cover um, which is cute uh, it looks like this but then when I looked at my palette <laughs> it was just constructed very poorly here it is right here I'm trying to uh, get it to come up as close as possible you might not be able to see in this image but I am going to insert another video up close but as you can see some of the pans aren't positioned in the palette properly some of them are crooked and it just doesn't look like a $58 palette to me so yeah like I said I am going to insert a video you know where the camera is actually shooting directly down on the palette so you can see so so this is a nice palette okay and when I picked it up from Sephora I just picked it up from Sephora I drove all the way back home and I was like what the what the and you know I hate returning things and I got really upset about it because the palette is $58 that's not cheap and I thought about returning it and just saying forget it about the video but the thing of it is you know things happen and I have some of their other palettes I have the um smoke sessions palette which the packaging was perfect and I also have the what is this the Vita Morta palettes which are I love them so divine and I have the radioactive palette and nothing happened with those palettes everything was put together perfectly um, to me the eyeshadows worked really well so it's like okay should I trip about this mm, no because at the end of the day does it matter no it doesn't is it upsetting to have a palette where the um, eyeshadows are positioned crookly in the pan? Yeah, that that I don't like that. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I'm going to do the video for you all. So this is just a heads up on this palette. If you go into Sephora um, and you want to buy it, have them open it up and look at it before you drive all the way back home. If that's going to be something that is going to bother you. Now, I did order their other palette, the green palette. I can't even think of the name. I'll put the put it on the screen somewhere but I ordered that but I ordered that from the Melt Cosmetics website plus that uh, pretty purple lipstick so I can't wait until that comes in and I'm praying that that palette is not going to be in the same condition as this one so again I really don't know how many looks I'm going to do um, I'll have some swatches so you can see how it swatches oh also I wanted to show you all uh, do a comparison because I was kind of thinking do I really need this palette because uh, the what is this this is the Martha palette and in this one as you all know it's got these two reds right here I'm just going to show you all how they look up against one another so anyway here they are they're not really close together but they're as close as I can get them I'm going to swatch those two matte shades together so this one is obituary and this one is no exit okay and that's in the waiting room palette and in the other palette this one is sangri I know I'm mispronouncing it and the other one is Bel Rigo Bel Rigo so there are some similarities it's not totally the same but you know I just wanted to show you all that just, just in case you were wondering you know are they actually the same and on the eye it's really not going to make a difference you're not going to be able to tell once you get it on the eye so anyway so I just wanted to make you all aware that when you get your palette the pans may be crooked now mind you I could have gotten a dud but um, either way I like it and I know I'm going to have some fun doing some looks with you all so here we go
All right, so this is the first look and I wanna quickly tell you what I think um, about this, uh, what is this, Juno? I think this, I think that's, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. And that shade is very chunky and I really couldn't get it to apply to the eye unless I sprayed it. I sprayed it with the Urban Decay setting spray, but after I applied it and sprayed it, I think it looks really pretty, very reflective. As far as these uh, three colors go, the I feel as though the matte black could have layered a little bit better over these two gray shades and that would be my only gripe. And what you all didn't see on camera is that on the inner eye, I added a white and then out here, I added Lydia. I think that's the name of it. I don't have my glasses. This, anyway, this shade. And while I'm here, let me just tell you all what I put on my face. I use the Beauty Blender Foundation and I use the um, Hyaluronic Powder to set my eyes because while using this palette, all of these looks, I'm going to set the base. And for lips, I use this Kat Von D and I think this is in Wolf. I used the Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Wolf and over it, I used one of the new lifter glosses over that. So I just mixed these two shades. And for my um, bronzer, I used the Fenty Bronzer in Coco Naughty. And as far as the lashes, these are just regular Amazon lashes. And for highlighter, I used this Fenty highlighter palette and I used this middle shade right here. And I think it turned out really well. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get into the second look. All right, so this is the second look. I need to be quick with this because my allergies are really acting up. Don't know why. I don't know if it's the palette. I've used our palettes before without any issues like this happening. But um, on the lower lash line, uh, my allergies are making the shadows run. So anyway, I blew the lower lash line out with this shade and then the outer V, um, I mixed the black with this uh, burgundy and this is what I got and I'm really getting Beetlejuice vibes. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking that this palette is gonna have to be a companion palette. If y'all are familiar with me, you know that I like to um, use a lot of palettes when doing my looks, but let me quickly tell you what I have on my face. I use the uh, Too Faced foundation. For the bronzer, I use the Jouer bronzer. And if y'all don't have this, you need to check it out. I use the darkest shade. Um, for powder, I use my Milk uh, powder. For contour, I use the Fenty Cream contour and then I went over it with this right here and then I know I overdid it with the blush but that's okay and for the blush I use the uh, Juvia's Place Saharan palette and I mix these two shades yeah these two shades together and just kind of went in ham so yeah I'm gonna try to do a third look uh, oh for my lips 
I use um, these two uh, liquid lipstick by Too Faced. I don't have my glasses on. I can't see the name and a Urban Decay lip gloss. So I have all of that listed below. So if I can get a third look in, I'm going to do it now. So this is it, this is the final look. I was hoping I could get in at least four to five looks, but my eye is tripping and I'm kind of thinking it might be this palette, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, what I did differently uh, is, or what I added was this white to my waterline and that's pretty much it. As far as my opinions on this palette, I think that the palette is, it's nice. I like the color story. I like the fact that it's red. I only have one other really red eyeshadow palette in my collection. I wish the metallics provided a little bit more pop once you add them onto the matte eyeshadow It just kind of looks dull and bland and even when you spray it Well, there is some uh, a little bit of pop when you spray it I take that back as far as these but I like all of the all of the shades and uh, while they are kind of similar uh, at the same time, they're not so uh, yeah, and again, I wish that this black was not, uh, th that it layered a little bit better. Um, but let me quickly tell you all what I have on my face. I have the It uh, Your Skin But Better foundation. If you have mature skin, I would really recommend this one. As far as the lip, I have a nude lip and one of uh, Melt Cosmetics lip glosses. I'm not sure if they still sell these, but I'll let you know the color down in the description box because I don't have my glasses on. Uh, I used the Huda um, cream contour around the edges and you can see I went ham and then I came back around and set it with this Morphe uh, bronzer and this is in Phenome so that was pretty cool and I think that's pretty much it. I did use a setting spray. Um, I used this Physicians Gold uh, 24 karat gold setting spray and I used my Givenchy powder to set the face and the you know I don't know if you all have seen these but it offers four different shades. The lightest one I did use to um, powder or set the concealer under my eye and my eye is just really running. Um, so anyway, I used this powder and I think that's pretty much it. Let me know down in the comments. Um, do you have the palette? Do you plan on getting the palette? So yeah, let me know down in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.